Hi, this is Regina Y. Favors with the Homosexual Squatter. So I'm coming to you with a new series, Overcoming Homosexual Setback. I don't know if I'm going to make it a full series, but I will sort of separate the videos um, into separate uh, components. But I want to get into this discussion about the Homosexual Squatter. Everyone has been posting videos on YouTube and um, sort of like as a warning tool, warning videos about uh, now that we are hitting the colder months, you will find for women, many men wanting to come live with them. They don't have a place of their own. They usually don't keep a stable job if they keep a job. And they're looking to um, do whatever they have to do to get into your house into a woman's house so they would have somewhere to stay uh, all the way up into the spring uh, time, like once it becomes kind of warmer. And then they'll basically move on. And the homosexual really is the vagabond that we uh, have of old that we really know about, uh, that we have seen in movies and they're kind of like a wanderer and they don't have any life purpose, mission. They kind of do odd jobs, right? They'll do odd jobs and um, and there's no real life goal for them. When it comes to a romantic partner being a homosexual, however, it can be a little dangerous because if you decide that things are not working out, the person, the man is not providing, not contributing, not doing anything around the house, maybe even cheating with an ex who won't let him come uh, live with her, and that person is involved in your relationship with the person, um, when you find that there are too many factors that might lead to violence, you have to make a decision about homosexual, about the homosexual. And I am linking homosexual and squatter um, because of once you decide to try to kick the person out and the person refuses to leave, then under a legal definition, possibly they may become a squatter. Because if they're a homosexual, you usually invite them in. You usually say, yeah, you can stay here. You, you can live with me. Let's live together. Let's do whatever we're going to do, right, as two romantic uh, uh, people, uh, as a couple. However, when you do your, you're getting tired of him, you're slamming doors around the house, you're trying to pack his stuff, he's trying to keep from leaving, uh, he, he convinces you to stay by giving you sex, he never gives you any money, never gives you, you, you any money, never puts any money on the food or anything like that, and when you try to, try to kick him out, and you, you, you don't follow through with that decision, like actually execute that decision and you let him stay, then he basically becomes a squatter. And is he is a permitted squatter after that because and, uh, for, for legal definition purposes, and I'm not a lawyer, uh, but just in researching the term, when you, um, when a person who is living with you receives mail at your place, they basically take up residence. And so they may be a squatter, because you didn't necessarily say, hey, I want you to stay. And at the same time, you did say, hey, I want you to stay. Because as long as, as long as the person is still in your house, you are permitting it. But when you try to kick them out for good, that's when it becomes a squatter situation for you. Because it's hard to then uh, tell the police officer you no longer want the person there. It's hard to then file any sort of legal documents like a um, a restraining order, you have to show a lot of proof for that. Uh, it's hard to uh, evict if the person decides to try to give you some money on the rent. As soon as you take anything from the person, you put yourself in a legal dilemma because now the person can claim that you too agreed uh, for the person to pay you rent and just because you didn't pay the full amount, you pay something, and then it's hard to get that person out. <clears throat> the best the best strategy for dealing with a homosexual and then homosexual squatter is just not to let the person come live with you. The person is a grown individual. Now, we all have had some times where we were 
uh, down um, financially and we had to go and live with somebody or we had to um, work it out, you know, some kind of way, had to ask for uh, some money. But if the majority of your life, 99% of your life, 95% of your life has been you taking care of yourself, then you are a grown adult. You know how to be a grown adult. But when you get somebody who has never had a place of his own, and we can add women to the mix as well as homosexual squatters, a person who has never had a place of his or her own, never had a job, never went to school, dropped out of school, not trying to do anything for their grown selves, then you're going to run the risk of dealing with a homosexual squatter, and it's going to be hard to get that person out. So this is the homosexual squatter overcoming homosexual setback. Um, visit ReginaWhyFavors.com. I think I'm going to place this under the tab um, life recovery tips or homeless recovery tips. And, and, and um, I finalized that thought afterwards.